Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So today I have the second video in my skincare week series. You would have seen, or if you haven't seen, I'll link it down below, my first one which was a, another updated what's in my skincare cupboard and also what I'm really loving and enjoying using frequently at the moment. So this video, if you haven't guessed by the title already, is my five favourite Muji beauty products. Now Muji is a brand that I've bought from for years now. They do have quite a few shops dotted around London and there's one in Guildford as well and I'm sure there's a couple more. I'll link down below their um, website if you want to go and check out where they do have stores and you can also shop online as well. I have actually been wanting to do this video for such a long time and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to share with you my favourites within my skincare week series this week. So let's get right into the first product. These are all accessories. I know Muji have launched, I think it was a couple of years ago, a skincare line as well. And if you would like me to do a video on the Muji skincare line, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. My first favorite definitely has to be the Muji cotton squares. These are the unbleached version and actually these have, quite a few of these products have price drops on them. So these were 350 but they're now 295 and you get 180 sheets. And the reason why I like these, I still like normal cotton pads, but there's just something about these ones. They last for ages. I think they're really great value for money for how many you get in here. And they're just really nice and delicate when you're using them on your skin. I tend to use these mostly with pore-on toners or glycolic and retinol liquids. They are a tiny bit small for using with micellar water if you're taking all your makeup off, but they are perfect if you just want to take your eye makeup off with a cotton pad and then cleanse the face normally. But if you do like a larger cotton pad, they do do these in another size. So these are the 60 by 50 millimeters and then there's the next size up, which is 90 by 70 millimeters. And these were 5.95 down to 4.95 and you get 135 of them. But I absolutely love these because they are so gentle on the face and I even use them for taking my nail varnish off as well. So speaking of cotton pads, another one of my Muji favorites is their peelable cotton. These are, um, they have a price drop as well. They were $6.95 but they're now $5.95 and you get 162 sheets and the size of them is 85 by 60 millimeters. So they're a little bit bigger than the cotton squares. And the way I use these is you can use them in a few different ways. I'll just show you one so you can see. So these are what they look like and you can basically just peel them apart and you usually get four pieces yep four pieces of um i wrote that one cotton pieces and you can either use these with a toner or essence or maybe any sheet mask essence that you have left in a pack you know you get all that excess liquid at the bottom that i always tell you to put on your neck and decollete where you could dip some of these into the solution and then once they're saturated you can just lay them on your face and just do a diy face mask you can also use these together to remove makeup. They're really nice and soft. And another way you can use these is by just using one of the thin sheets and just cutting it in half. And you can just use them as under eye brighteners. Again, you can dip them in any remaining essence if you've got any of those under eye patches or you could just leave it in the solution in the fridge you can just do so many things with these and that is the reason why i love them they're just so versatile and again really great value for money 
Another cotton related product that I always buy when I go to London and visit the Muji store is the thin cotton buds. I buy these in the refill pack, they're actually a little bit cheaper and to be honest I don't really need all the extra packaging on them. So these are $2.95 in the refill pack and you get 200 in here whereas if you were to buy them in the plastic container you can buy that as well if you want to store them in there or you could buy that if you've never bought them before and then just buy the refill pack after but the one in the plastic container is £3.50 again for 200 cotton buds. Now I really love these thin ones and I've never seen them anywhere else but I particularly love these for under the eyes and just touch ups when I do my makeup. I just find them really useful because they are so thin. I generally when I apply mascara tend to get it on my eyelids. I never know why so I always have to clear it up after once it's dried down and because these are so tiny I can just really get into the lash line and clear it all up or if you just get any gunk in your eyes you can just take one of these and just wipe it away and you can also use them just to smudge out eyeliners and things. One thing I will say is a bit of a disclaimer, these are not to be used in your ears, they're purely just for cosmetic touch-ups and things like that on your makeup. However these are really handy if you just want to pop a couple in your bag. I always have them in my bag if I'm out and about and I just want to clean up my eyes quickly. You know when it gets to the end of the day and you've got a few flakes down your eyes or your eyeliner smudge, these are perfect just for clearing all that up. Okay, these next two products I'm gonna share with you together because they basically do the same thing and I did share them in my skincare collection cupboard video and I promised that I would tell you how I use these. So these are face lotion sheets these ones here are for sheet masks, they're a face lotion sheet. These are the compressed face masks, so they're basically a sheet mask in a little tablet form and when this is saturated it expands into a full sheet mask for you to use. So in this pack is 20 but they also do a smaller pack of 5. So this one with the 20 in is 4 95 and then the pack of 5 is £1.75. Then this pack here is the under eye patches. These don't expand, they come as they are and you just saturate them again. In here you get 20 pieces, so 10 sets of under eye patches and these are £1.50 so so cheap and the way I use these I'll tell you how I use the sheet mask first so as I mentioned earlier you know when you use a sheet mask you do get that leftover serum or essence at the bottom of the pack what I do is I pour it into a small tiny container and then you just take one of these and you just pop it into the container, screw the lid back on and then you've got yourself an instant sheet mask and that way you're getting more for your money and you're really getting two sheet masks out of that one pack. I do find that a lot of sheet mask brands are generous with the essence, it's really well saturated within the sheet mask so you may as well use that leftover serum and pop it either on your face or use an extra mask to soak up the liquid and then as you've seen before I pop on my rubber mask over the top and then I use the rose quartz roller to help the essence penetrate into the skin a little bit further and it's a great way like I said before to get two sheet masks out of that one packet. Then the eye ones you can basically do the same as what I said with the peelable cotton pads. If you have any leftover solution from eye patches you can just pop a couple of these in the pack, save the pack and just pop a clip on it so it doesn't dry out. And then as I mentioned you can pop this in the fridge and just get it out when you want to use it if you just want a little pick me up for under the eyes. But you can also use these all over the face, you don't have to use them under the eyes. They are so versatile and I love having these to hand just to 
get the most out of my skincare products. The final product I want to share with you is something that I've become really obsessed with lately and it is this face washing net. Now you're probably wondering what on earth would I do with this? First of all let me tell you how much this is. This is £1.50 and I'll just read to you actually what it says online. It will probably make more sense than me blabbering on about how to use it. So it says place a bar of soap inside the net with a little water and by rubbing it gently it will create a soft lather that will gently cleanse your face. Now I don't actually use this with soap, I use this with gel cleansers and it creates this amazing foam that's really gentle on the skin. I know in Japanese skincare they swear by the foam application because it is really gentle and you're not actually using your fingers to touch your face it's the foam that's touching your face and you also only need a tiny amount of cleanser if you are going to use a gel cleanser because it foams up so well so in theory you're making your products last that little bit longer but i just really enjoy using this super affordable tool if i do want to use a more gentle cleanser on my face so it is a great thing to have if you do have sensitive skin or you just want to get the most out of your cleansing products. So guys, that is it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this and you found it helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community. Also, just lately, I've been really active on my community community page and also my YouTube stories. It's a bit like Instagram or Snapchat stories but I tend to share quite a lot on there of any bargains that I find and just things that I'm doing in general. So definitely come and hang out on the community page and I will look forward to seeing you in my final skincare week video which will be on Sunday. Take care guys, bye!